Hey, it's Anna. So last week I was speaking to one of you on my Instagram DMs and she wanted to know a little bit more about me so I decided to just film a Q&A video so that way you all can ask anything that you actually want to know. So I did put up a poll thing on my Instagram story literally yesterday. Yeah. It was yesterday. <laughs> All of these days are kind of blurring into one now. So anyway, yesterday I put up a poll on my Instagram and I have 10 questions that you all asked. So we're just going to jump straight into this Q&A. So yeah, I may completely butcher your names. I feel like every person that I watch their YouTube videos when they do Q&As, they always butcher people's names. And I am no different. I cannot pronounce certain names. So I may just put them on the screen. I don't really know. I've never filmed this kind of video before. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, the first name I can't pronounce. <laughs> so I'm going to just put the name on the screen. But this person asked, and I really appreciate you asking me these questions, by the way. I just want to put that out there. Like, thank you so much for answering this poll and all of these questions. So I'm excited to just get into this. But yeah, your name should be on the screen. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, so the first question is, when and how did you start singing? And why are you so beautiful? <laughs> I don't know how to take compliments, like, especially on camera, it makes me feel really awkward, but thank you. I appreciate you asking the question and also the compliment. This feels really awkward. <laughs> but when and how did you start singing? Um, so I've always loved music for literally as long as I can remember. When I was really young, my mum would always be playing CDs and cassette tapes in the car. So I always used to sing along to music. My family, like my cousins and my brother would get really pissed off at me for singing because they could just hear me like trying to do it really quietly and it would really irritate them. <laughs> so I would always listen to music and learn the lyrics and make up dance routines and all kinds of stuff when I was young. So literally I've loved music and loved singing for as long as I can remember. But I started private vocal lessons at 13. And the rest is history. <laughs> Oh, and when and how? Yeah, so I had private vocal lessons and then I did music at school as a GCSE, I did music at college as an A-level and then I did a year at a music school as well, all for vocals, so I just always loved music, you know, there's never been anything else that I've wanted to do, not at all, so I would just work part-time jobs and stuff while I studied and while I tried to, like, perfect the craft, which is not perfect, but, you know, we're getting there. <laughs> It will never be perfect, but we're always improving. So that's the main thing. So question number two is by Mia George. I can pronounce your name. <laughs> I notice you all the time, so thank you so much for always asking questions and always commenting and everything like that. I really do appreciate it. But her question is, what made you want to do music? I don't even know what made me want to. Like, It's just something that I always enjoyed. I guess it's the love for it. Like, I always, always enjoyed it. Every time a song would come on, I'd want to sing the lyrics. Like, you know when you have a nap and someone plays a song, especially if you nap in the car and someone's got a song on? I remember as a kid, whenever the songs would come on, if I knew the lyrics, I had to just wake up and sing it. Like, I couldn't allow myself to go to sleep because I knew the lyrics. Or I'd sing it in my head when I'm trying to sleep. Like, I don't know. I just always, always loved music. Like I would get the booklet of um, CDs and I would read the lyrics in them and learn the songs that way and I would literally play the whole album over and over and over again while I learned the lyrics. And like I'd stop the song and go back a little bit to try and remember the lyrics, you know. I don't know, I was a bit of a weird child, you know. I just would binge listen to music. I don't know. I literally don't know, basically, but I just loved it. Um, question number three. Beast Panda 100. I love these names. Like, what? <laughs> but what kind of music do you make? I don't really know how to put my music in a genre. Because I feel like these days, genres are blurring quite a lot, you know? But I would say it's it's kind of R&B. And then some songs have, like, hints of pop. Some songs have hints of R&B. It's just kind of a whole blended mix, you know. I have so many influences of different artists that I love, so I think it's just a bit of a mix. But I would probably put it in R&B just if you had to pick one. So question four is, is um, from my stepsister. 
<laughs> so her name's Amy and she asked, do you remember us making up songs and performing them to the family early star days? <laughs> no lie, we would literally write songs together, make up dance routines to the songs and then perform them for our parents. My whole life just revolved around like creativity and I feel like that's a really Pisces thing, you know, like a Pisces sun and Mercury and I would just always, always make up songs, write lyrics, make up dance routines just all the time, you know, and even like playing games and stuff like I was always in my head always imagination you know just creating stories playing schools with my teddy bears you know like I just love to create things even if it was just in my own mind and not actually a physical thing you know but we had so much fun making those dance routines so thank you for asking that question girl <laughs> um question number five is Medine, I think, Medine. I'll put your name on the screen because I don't really want to like kill your name, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but she asked, what was one of your biggest difficulties you faced with your music? Example, people and places. I feel like there's so many difficulties when it comes to, to this kind of career choice and path. Literally, I could list endless things, <laughs> to be honest. But it all helps you along your way and gets you to where you need to be. So I am grateful for every single struggle or difficulty that I have faced. But I think the hardest part is probably believing in yourself because none of the other things matter if you don't believe in yourself, you know, because that's the one thing that you need to even go with it, like, and actually do it and follow it. So... I think that's probably the most difficult thing that I have faced and even now I struggle with it especially like you compare yourself to other artists you compare yourself to everything and everyone you know <laughs> so yeah self-belief is definitely the hardest part no matter what it is that you're trying to do but it's one of the most amazing things once you start tapping into that so and question six is another question by Mia George and she said would you ever go on tour will you ever come to Perth like, I would love to. That is the dream. The dream is to be making music, doing music videos, all of this stuff, and then just going across the world and performing for all of you. That would literally be the dream. So I would love to come to Perth. I've never been to Australia, ever, and I would love to. So keep an eye out, you know. In the next year or so, we're going to start venturing around places. <laughs> So make sure you tell your friends about the music because the more of you in your locations that want to see me perform and want to hear my music, the easier and quicker I'll be able to come to your location. <laughs> A little vlog there, you know. Question seven was Elena. I think it's Elena or Elena. I don't know. You can pronounce people's names in so many ways. It's like hard to tell. But she sent three love hearts. So thank you so much. Sending lots of love back. I just thought I would include that question in there that's not really a question <laughs> so question number eight is by pressway comics these are all people's instagram handles by the way in case you were wondering <laughs> um and they ask where does your inspiration and ideas come from i feel like i pick up inspiration from everywhere literally so like personal experiences is the main way that i can like create stories you know and write lyrics and things in the music but then also I can get the ideas from other people and something that they're going through or I mean you can literally get it from anywhere like tv shows and things of like what other people are going through on there and like you can literally be driving down the road this has happened to me many times and I'll be driving down the road and I might see something like it could literally be a tree and it will just trigger an idea I don't know I don't really know how to explain it but I think that just ideas and inspiration comes from everywhere and the more open you are like the easier you'll you'll notice it you know you'll pay attention and then a question number nine by gold sonic one <laughs> and um, they said who's your celebrity crush I don't really have celebrity crushes to be honest when I was younger I was obsessed with Eminem which is a bit weird, and I used to, li he was one of the people that I would get the lyrics up, and I would literally read through them, and learn all of his songs, and then I would rap it all back, and attempt to rap, you know, but, like, crushes now, I don't really have, 
there's people obviously that I think are good looking but it's not like a I need to know everything that they're doing or like I don't really follow people on Instagram or anything like that so I wouldn't really say I have celebrity crushes I just think a lot of people are good looking you know <laughs> and then question number 10 the last question is by Broke Boy Kaz, who's a musician, and he asked, when are we doing this international collab? <laughs> I love collabing with people, you know, but I'm just always so busy, so it's hard for me to fit in the time to then work on a song with somebody else when I'm trying to get my own songs done. But I definitely am open to it, and you can email me, and yeah, we can get to work on that. But my email is on a trip, same as my handle, at gmail.com. So yeah. That is all the questions. This was kind of a quick video, but if you have any other questions, like I'm sure I'll do another Q&A at some point, and I definitely want to start doing um, live stream performances because a lot of you are in so many different locations. It's kind of, I can't really start touring and performing yet until I've like honed in on the actual locations to go to, you know? So I do want to do some like YouTube live stream performances and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this helped you get to know me a little bit better. And um, yeah, I really appreciate you asking the questions. So I will see you in the next video. All links to my social media, my music will be in the description box below. And have a great week. Bye. Pull it down. Oh yeah